Welcome to Taking the College Route with Bongi. My name is Bongi Kila Khalakhala and today we are going to be talking about the MQA, which is another source of funding for TIVET colleges. But not only for TIVET colleges, even at universities, they do have the MQA. So if you are doing the mining sector, engineering related studies, you can apply for the MQA bursary. Okay. What they do is they offer funding. But they don't offer funding to only TVET college students. They also offer to university students, like I've already mentioned, that are doing mining and engineering related studies. They also offer funding to small businesses and to students who are looking for work placement exposure at TVET colleges to graduate. Those who have finished their N6 to know what I'm talking about. However, I am going to make a separate video for all that information. For now, we are focusing on new TIVET college students and those who are already enrolled but did not have this information. I would advise you to apply for both MQA and NSFIS so that if you don't qualify for NSFIS, then you get MQA or the other way around. And another thing, the MQA pays better than just saying, just saying. Now, what do you need to apply? You just go to their website, download their bursary application form, get it printed, and then fill it up, fill it up, and upload it with the following required documents, which is your certified ID copy. Um, this is what they say on their website, a strong academic record. If you have good results, they will consider you for the best week. But I'm not trying to scare anyone here. Even if you don't have good results, guys, just try your like and apply. In fact, just apply. I mean, God did not send me here to give you all this information for Mahala. The best week is yours. Go ahead and apply. Another thing that they need is um, proof that you really, really do need this financial financial assistance which would be an affidavit stating that you live with your parents, they are unemployed or they are pensioners, or you just live with your mother, we've been through this, she's unemployed, or this is how she makes a living, which will prove that she, the money she makes is not enough to pay for your college fees too. If you are having trouble printing the form, contact me on this email address. I will personally email the form to you. I have it. I will email the form, the form to you, get it printed, and do the rest. However, if you are already enrolled at a TV college, you need, in addition to the, the documents that I have already mentioned, you need an acceptance letter from the college. Just, just go to your campus manager. They will direct you where to go in order to get that acceptance letter, which you will submit together with the other documents that I've already mentioned. Also, if you are working, you can get the bursary from MQA. What you need, in addition to the already mentioned, um, to already to the already mentioned documents, is a letter of consent from your employer. It must be on the company letterhead, and it must be signed by your immediate supervisor. Then you take all that and submit with the documents that I have mentioned already. Now, the courses that the bursary accepts are the following. Electrical engineering, electromechanical engineering, and mechanical engineering. That's if you're doing the native program. And if you're doing NCV, then any course that is mining engineering related you can apply for the bursary as well. Now, in case you acquire problems with the whole online application process, please feel free to do a walk-in 
to any MQA regional office. We have seven regional offices in seven different provinces in South Africa. <laughs> Listen to me saying we. Listen to me saying we. This is Bagay MQA. <laughs> anyway, they have seven regional offices in seven different provinces in South Africa. In the Eastern Cape, uh, we have King Sabata Dalinjebo at the Queenstown campus. In the Free State, we have one at Goldfield Stewart College at Dorsa campus in Valcom. In Limpopo, we have one at Sikukune Tivit College at the Patuidi campus. In Northern Cape, we have one at the Northern Cape Rural Tivit College at the Katu campus. In the Northwest, we have one in Mangui Tivit College in Muhwasi. And in Pumalanga, we have one at Nkangala Tivit College in the Mbondo Zamkomo campus. I hope I pronounced that right. Then lastly, we have the head office, the MQA head office at in Gauteng, in Park Town. So if you have a problem with the online application process, please walk into those offices. And KZN and the West End Cape do not, I'm not sure if they have any regional office but I have contact details for people there that can assist you if you call them or you email them when you encounter any kind of problem with the application process. So you submit your applications via this email address, this email address, or you do a walk-in and submit your applications. Ask for the form at the regional office that you go to, uh, fill it up, submit everything that they need, and these applications must all be submitted before the 31st of January, 2021. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you when they opened earlier. They opened in September, but I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Next time I'll do better. But at least I told you before they close. So please do it right away because it's first come, first serve. I don't know how many students they are looking for. So if I were you, I'll do it quickly. And that is all for today. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for watching this video. Please continue to comment, like, and share the videos. If you are not subscribed yet, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to subscribe. <laughs> I kid. If you are not subscribed, please, please subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos. You may have siblings, cousins, or neighbors that are in need of this information. So like I always say, sure to change a life. I will see you on my next video. Bye.